Good afternoon, Matthew. This is a reasonable time for us to record at. This is a great campaign we're going on. I'm gonna roll my D20s, see if I can get a crit. <laughs> you're, you're a real asshole, you know that. <laughs> uh, this is Destiny, still. That's the only thing this website's all about. I now. thought you asked me to play Dungeons & Dragons. No, but this map is called Dungeons, so well done for remembering that. Yep. Uh, there's a giant crystal hanging from that ceiling. There's also a pile of fucking spooky skeleton bones all over the floor. Very similar so, to some uh, other map months ago when I remember pointing out the skeleton bones on the floor. Very similar to every single thing that looks, uh... Actually, yeah, I remember the exact map you're on about. Yeah. So this is the Hive Dreadnought, which is more green and less blue than the map you remember. Why is every single map just full of dead human skeleton bones? Because <laughs> it's the darkness and they're evil. What's more evil than bones? Why are the humans walking into the darkness in order for the Hive to then collect them and store them on the floor? That's really messy. Someone's gonna trip and hurt themselves over those bones. Uh, that's like that's what always bothered me about the end of the ending of Mass Effect, where you go up in the. We're going to spoil Mass Effect Three, by the way. When you go up into the uh, the Citadel, and there's like all those corridors full of dead people, just like strewn around. I, like what? It's not. You know, you can't process them when they're a in armor, and b just lying around in fucking piles, bleeding out all over the floor. Well, that's why the. Um, well, what are they called? Uh, oh fuck! Do you mean the little uh, bug things? No, stand at the console. Yeah, the keepers, they're there, like, taking all the armor and, like, cutting them up and shit. They're just kind of getting abducted, left in a hallway, and the keepers kind of sort them out and process them. <laughs> yeah, that was always kind of fucked up. That's kind of what led me to the indoctrination theory, so I was like, there's no fucking way you would leave all these corpses just lying on the floor. Because for no reason. Never forget Marauder Shields, the true hero of Mass Effect. Oh, did you hear that Drew Karpachin, the uh, the lead writer on Mass Effect 1 and 2, has returned to Biobar after being le after leaving three years ago? No, I didn't. Well, he's back. Uh, he's working on Star Wars The Other Public, so don't worry about yourself about that. <laughs> you won't be seeing any of his great work any time in the future. I think Mass Effect 2 is the best Mass Effect. I mean, people shit on free, I kind of like free. I mean, yeah. people shit on the ending, I think the game itself is good, i.e really like, you know, when you go down into London, you're doing the final push. Yeah, yeah, it's a quite epic. Especially that fucking fight with all the Banshees flying Yeah, in. you fight like four Banshees at once, fucking hell. Yeah, that game is so good. Like, the, I mean just the shooting, you know, the mechanics, so much faster and more sexy than like Gears of War or something. Yeah, I, I, I would really like, you know how uh, there was rumours that EA are going to bring a bunch of old 360 titles to EA Access? Yeah. I, I totally would pay for EA Access just for the Mass Effects. Even though I fucking got them sat on my bookshelf over here, I would pay just to have them digitally. EA Access is actually a pretty good deal if you want to play like four EA games a year. Because it's only three ninety nine a month and you get so much other shit that you might want to check out. Yeah. Yeah, but like the, the couple of hours early access uh, of every game that comes out is going to be huge for Battlefront. Because goddammit, we're going to play it the moment it's there. Yeah, it's it's a really good deal. If they put their 360 backlog on there, it would be an amazing deal. Yeah, I did, you know, there was just rumours, wasn't there, about a remaster of the trilogy. But now that they have the backwards compatibility, it makes more sense they just do that. I guess, but if they did a remaster of all three games, then they could release it on PS4, because PS4, PS, the play, PS3 never had, Mass Effect 1 did it. Hmm... Yeah, I thought I thought they got a port of it, but they didn't. They just got that comic. Yeah, so they could release Mass Effect One, and they could also release it on PC as well. I think uh, it's, it is. Oh, the trilogy. Yeah, I think what? it's worth releasing the trilogy with all the DLC. Yeah, be, on the Wii U would be great. So that's a console that Mass Effect fans love. Oh yeah. Oh man, can you imagine like you know little tiny uh, movies on your Wii U gamepad as you sit in elevators in Mass Effect One? <laughs> that wouldn't be the worst thing, actually, and the, the uh, what are they called, the Miiverse post would be pretty great. Oh god, I don't want to see a bunch of, like, 14-year-old girls on their Wii U's talking about how they want Garrus's bird dick. I mean, you want Garrus's bird dick. Hey, I tried to get Garrus's bird dick and said I went into a shower with that girl in Mass Effect 2 and now my character's Samantha. a lesbian. Have you still not played the Citadel? No. Oh, you need to, she has the single best single two best scenes in that franchise. And that was Destiny, the map was Dungeons.